potatoes are one of the most popular foods and can be found in a variety of dishes and menus. They are versatile and easy to prepare, which is why they are so common at restaurants, fast food places, and homes. There are so many different types of potatoes to choose from, red potatoes, white potatoes, not to mention all the ways they can be prepared. Potatoes are available year-round, are gluten-free, and are low in fat. They are also high in vitamin C, potassium, fiber, and protein. Potatoes can be prepared in many different ways, such as frying them in butter or oil, boiling them in milk, and grating them for salads and sandwiches. Potatoes are a high glycemic index food, which means they can cause blood sugar levels to spike quickly. However, it's a common misconception to think that people with type 2 diabetes should avoid potatoes entirely. In this video, we'll discuss whether potatoes are good or bad for type 2 diabetics and whether potatoes can raise your blood sugar levels or not. Let's get started. Type 2 diabetes is a lifelong condition where your body does not use insulin effectively and cannot keep blood sugar levels at normal levels. It is the most common type of diabetes. About 90 to 95 percent of people with diabetes are type 2 diabetes. People with type 2 diabetes are often told to avoid potatoes because they have a high glycemic index score. The glycemic index GI, is a ranking of food based on how quickly they release sugar into your bloodstream. High GI foods have a GI score of 70 or more. High GI foods release sugar more rapidly than low GI foods. There are many ways to prepare potatoes, and they can affect their glycemic index. Here are for example. Potatoes are a starchy vegetable. Starches are complex carbohydrates. Generally, complex carbohydrates, such as starches, take longer for the body to break down and release glucose into the bloodstream. This slow and steady release of glucose helps prevent spikes in blood sugar and keeps you feeling full longer. Even though potatoes have complex carbohydrates, this type of complex carbohydrates in potatoes can increase blood sugar levels faster than other types of complex carbohydrates. This is because high GI complex carbs are processed more quickly by the body than those with a medium or low GI. People with diabetes tend to overeat high-carb foods like potatoes, since they tend to be filling and satisfying. If you want to keep your glucose levels low, it's important not to overeat in starchy foods like potatoes. It doesn't mean you can't eat carbs at all. Though, portion control is key. The big question is, are potatoes good for type 2 diabetics? And the answer is yes, potatoes are still good for type 2 diabetics. They are healthy foods that should be eaten in moderation. They contain a lot of starches, which can raise your blood sugar levels if consumed in excess. Potatoes are a good source of potassium, which is essential for heart health. They are also rich in B vitamins, which help convert carbohydrates into energy. Finally, the skin of the potato is an excellent source of fiber. Studies show that eating just one potato with the skin provides more than 20% of the daily recommended fiber intake. Do potatoes raise blood sugar? Potatoes are considered a high GI food. They are high in complex carbs. Your body digests these carbs faster than it does other kinds of complex carbs, which will result in an increase in blood sugar levels. People with type 2 diabetes should be aware of the portion of potatoes they consume. It's best to eat them in combination with other good quality foods that provide fiber, protein, and healthy fats. Eating them in moderation alongside foods like whole wheat bread, Brussels sprouts, and olive oil can help balance your blood sugar, keep you full longer than just potatoes alone. We hope this video should answer your questions about potatoes. If you have found this video useful, be sure to like it, share it, or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.